Clouds. Locked. What's good on Spartans? Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about war rant. Now, guys, that means how to win no matter what in war. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, you can't always win. Well, in a way, you're right. You can't always guarantee you're going to win. But what you can do is make sure you always come out with a profit. Now, the way you do this, guys, is you don't invest in every single war. So listen to the whole video. Be very careful on how I word things because it is very detailed and it is very, very explanatory. In the background, I threw up some random raids. Uh, some are really, this is a really high loot one for Dark Elixir. And there's also a really high loot fail one or whatever. It's an epic fail. So I have an epic win here and an epic fail for you guys. But uh, basically what I want to explain is how I'm doing wars in my clan now. I canceled wars for a very long time because I had a lot of loyal members from the old days who've been with me for two years who don't like wars and are sick of losing wars. Now, I'm sure a lot of clans have come into this problem of, oh, if you lose wars, people leave. Uh, when people leave, you start to really hurt, and your clan falls apart, even if they're good members, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line is, the way you fix this is, you actually start doing wars non-stop. Now, uh, for a long time, I stopped doing wars entirely, but what I'm doing now is continuing to do wars non-stop, and what I'm doing is, making everyone watch their inboxes carefully for instructions. So if I determine that the clan we're facing is way too OP, they have too much, too many guys that are stronger than us, um, they have a really strong war record and are very serious and they're American or like English, I will send Termitator, my co-lead, and also the YouTuber over to their clan, or I'll go myself, and I will drop a message to them saying, hey, Put your top two guys town halls outside. You're obviously a serious war clan. We're not. We just want the free loot. So your top two guys put the loot out there. Um, put all their loot in their town hall way out to the side. We'll drop our queen and leave. So we don't even lose our queen. Our queen just takes some hits. And when I say takes some hits, I just mean that she actually just shoots the storages and town hall and then leaves. So when you do that, you get 100,000 of each instantly for taking the storages. And then, of course, you get the loot bonus um, at the end of the war, which is cut down quite a bit. But you still get about 400,000 of each for losing the war when you take the top two players out. And you won the 200,000 instantly when you were in the war. So you win about 600k of each, which is pretty solid just for dropping your queen and not having to worry about anything. Um, you don't lose anything at all by doing it. Now, here's an epic fail by me. I was using a really random force just for fun. Uh, just trying it out, just having a good time. But anyway, the main reason you do this for war, guys, is because... You can win loot every time. Now imagine if you war non-stop. And let's say every other war you have to back down and just snipe the town halls. And you get whatever. Let's say, what is it, 600,000 every other war. But let's say every other war you actually get the other team and the other guy is weaker than you. Well, you go ahead and go all out and destroy them. And then you win a million loot. So then you end up winning a million of each. So you actually win up. A lot more that way but you can't win every war so I basically highly suggest you just try not to win the wars you know you can't win but if you can get the free loot why not do that rather than sit there and not attack at all that's the basis of this opinion that's how you win every single war because you never participate if you aren't gonna win and if you aren't gonna participate you might as well go to the other clan and try and convince them to give you free loot and give them the easy win and that's basically what I'll be doing for the next few weeks. And I'll be showing uh, I'll be showing our war attacks and showing you how it works out. I think a lot of people will be very impressed with this. And it will be making our clan a lot more active and a lot more fun. And I know people will be happy because they're not going to have to worry about, oh, I was told to attack and, uh, you know, I didn't get anything and we lost. Well, that's kind of a shame. I don't want that to happen so much. So I'm minimizing our losses and maximizing the loot we can win. And this is the most effective way to do war, guys. I highly suggest it for anyone looking to do a war or anyone that's been having trouble with war. Go ahead and comment below. Tell me what your troubles have been. And tell me if you guys are able to do this. And if you are, go ahead and let me know how much it helps your clan. I hope it helps a lot. As always, guys, this will be the end of the episode in a second here. This went terribly wrong. This P.E.K.K.A. went the wrong direction. Uh, you know, it just really wasn't in my right mind. I was attacking live here, as you can see. And anyway... Just kind of got a little flustered, but whatever. Not really important, but I hope this helps you guys. Stay tuned for the next episode, and of course, I will see you very soon. Peace.